are crowned. I have 4C hair that is down the middle of my back. I am not showing up to a first date with a puff in the top of my head. I'm just not. I'm going to go get it washed, blown out, and flat ironed by professionals. And that's why my hair got this long in the first place. People messing with their own hair ends in catastrophes. We see it every day. I'm, I'm so glad that you know how to do your own hair. Good job for you. But when you're dealing with natural hair 4C, nah, bro, you got to pay somebody to go do that. I, I dated a girl. One, one, one of my ex-girls, girlfriends, had 4C, 4C hair down her back as well. She used to do her own weave, meaning I would watch her on a set. Hold on, pause, stop, 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 because it's an excuse. I would watch her on a Saturday, sit down in Indian style. She would braid her hair in the mirror. She would braid it into the pattern she needed to. I would watch her cut the tracks up with the sewing and sew in her own tracks, and she was doing that. And it would take her maybe about four or five hours and she would get it done so again it's an excuse they need to i'm not saying that hair. you do i'm not saying that you do but even flat ironing certain things you can do it you're acting like if you shouldn't be messing up your own hair as a grown woman you should have had practice throughout your life of maintaining and taking care of your own hair so that you know how to do it by the time you're a certain age i, I just think that that's basic other women and other demographics do it they all know how to maintain and take care of their own hair, which is why this argument is not a conversation that happens when, once you leave the black community. You don't hear, Asian women are not saying, oh, we need men to pay for our hair to get done because Asian women know how to maintain their own hair. You don't hear, you don't hear uh, white women doing it. You don't hear Indian women See, doing you, it. You was paying You're only money. hearing it in the black community. Who said, so, who said we want the men to pay, pay for it? He making shit up. Money you moving the goalposts. <laughs> That let me ask this question. Let me, like, tell, you let me tell you something. So let me tell you something. Let me say something real quick. So the the uh, ex that I was staying with, he didn't believe. Like I know when we dated, I I wasn't expecting to pay for nothing, but he was just like he made a comment and was like, I think women, you know, should take care of themselves, and if they want to pay all that extra money for weave and nails and stuff, they should do that. We were together for four years. He never paid for my hair and nails, but I have to pay no bills. I was living with him. So yeah, I spent my money on whatever I wanted to spend it on. So that's what I did. You know, I never asked him for no money because I was doing it before I met him and I was going to do it while I was with him. You know, now when he threw money at me every now and then, great. But I never said, hey, I need some money to get my hair done. I need some money to get my nails done because that's just what I've been doing all my life. So it ain't nothing that I'm going to ask a guy to do. Now he offered, I'm definitely going to take it because I was also raised to get what you're worth. And if a guy wants to do something for you, gracefully accept it. Let me ask y'all this, ladies. Hold on, real quick. Let me ask y'all this, ladies. Now, keep it real. Hold on, we got to get Marcus. In there. We got to get Marcus in there. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> y'all hilarious. Uh, y'all super hilarious. Cloud ass come in with a grenade. He just <laughs> boom through that ball. <laughs> um, dark, dark. Well, Clout and Trev. And uh, before y'all got on this hair conversation, y'all was cooking like a ball. <laughs> y'all was going crazy. Because at the end of the day, um, people be punching out their weight class. That, that's really what all this shit boils down to. Because if somebody like you, they'll put up with all type of shit to keep you. And it's simple as that. If the people don't want to be around your ass, it's because they don't like you like that. And if you got to incentivize them with shit that's outside of who you are, then you already lost. And that's how you're going to have a high-ass divorce rate. You, you finding people who you can convince to date you because you got some money or you can convince to date you because they're in a bad situation or whatever that is. It's not you that they dating. It's the circumstances. Circumstantial dating will lead to circumstantial marriages. That's not to death do you part. And y'all can get back to the fuckery. <laughs> all right, That's all I have to say. We get to Aisha, check in with her, and then we'll go to Darwin's question. Go ahead, Aisha. I just think, like as previously stated, don't he just said it, don't date outside your weight class. Like, <laughs> be honest, if you look at the world, that's how the rich stay rich. The rich date the rich people, like they date in their circles, they date people that are like minded. We're reading the same books at Starbucks, you know, like they date people within their circles, and so that's how things work. Anytime you try to mess that up and date outside who you are and yourself, it just doesn't work out. Somebody's going to be angry. Somebody's going to be upset, you know. And it, and I think that when we are dating, I do agree with you, Trev, we should have consideration. Like, I am very considerate. You know what I mean? You can, lit, we can literally go to Wingstop. I love Wingstop. You know what I mean? We just got to be consistent with the Wingstop dates. 
That's all I'm saying. If you're gonna judge me for eating fruit snacks, I can't date you. I'm judging for that. Like I had some I had some serious contention that with what's going on here as far as women trying to put their bills on to a dude because what I'm saying is this how are you existing on a daily basis like how are you going outside if you if you got to put on a whole fraud and you just feel like you need to perpetrate because you want a date that's trash I think women have a misunderstanding of how men are thinking you could look good and go to rainbow we're not going to be looking at you like oh she got on a cheap ass dress and if this dude is behaving like that that's a seriously a serious issue he's feminine and you probably don't want to be with that buster anyway so all i'm saying is you have to look nice but you don't have to look expensive you will never impress a solid man because you spent a bunch of money that is actually going to repel men we're gonna be like damn i ain't trying to maintain all that hell out of here Let you either look good or you don't because you gotta hold on i wasn't done yet though so go what ahead. i'm saying is women are up. go ahead you can say that but what i'm <laughs> what i'm saying is however you look however you exist in the world however you go to work every day however you go outside and consider yourself to be presentable you could put on a nice dress makeup ain't that much i know how much it costs it's not that much and you don't have to put on a bunch of makeup. Men pretty much just want you to be natural. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on, on your hair. Even if whatever it is that you do, however it is that you look, if you throw on a wig, whatever, men generally don't care as long as you look presentable and you have a nice personality. You putting on, spend all that extra bread, three or $400 is preposterous to me. I don't see how somebody feels like they would need to spend that much money. That's, that's wild. Men are not really trying to pick up expenses like that. Like even how Chanel was, right? Like would do like most dudes ain't do ain't gonna be able to support that because from what you're saying, you had like a what a ninety dollar eating habit a day, which is like what four fifty a month, which is like it's just I mean, me. Four fifty a week. It's just me. And then eighteen hundred. And a month? I do so some like, days where I don't do it. But. Well, let okay. me tell you this. Oh, you done a trail? Go ahead. Hold on. I, think, uh, I, I think I think country was about to try to. What you got to say? I'm gonna come right to you, Dalvin. I promise. Uh, first of all, didn't nobody say nothing about anybody picking up bills? How this is like the telephone game in elementary school that never was said. All I said was, if I've been talking to this person and they know I wear my puff, and he's like, "How long is your? I want to see your hair flat ironed." I'm not expecting him to pay for it. I'm gonna go get my own hair flat ironed. I'm gonna go get my own fit. I want to make sure I look nice and presentable for this person that I'm talking to. And because I pay, I, I, I'm not asking him. I didn't say, well, send me the money. I didn't say that. That's not, that never came out of my mouth. And I wouldn't even expect my husband to get my hair done because I'm a working female. So I'm trying to figure out where all this picking up our bills fucking came from. Oh, I never darling. Said Nobody on this panel ever well, said that. For the record, Cookie, I let think me, everyone. Me, uh, I think everyone thinks we was only, saying, we was only saying that because you, you used it. You used it to compare it to how men are picking up the the uh, the, the money on a date, and you use it as an equivalent. You said, "How about us being three or four hundred and So once you made that comparison, you made it as if it was worth whatever it is that we're paying. 